What's up? What's good? What's going on, family? So let's jump in for the daily increase. Now, this daily increase is coming very late in the day today. So the message that was released this morning was an old recording that I was led to release today. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see what the energy is that we're currently standing in for this daily increase. And y'all, the channel messages. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but before we jump into all of that, I just want you to know that this is a message for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as that ninth house. Very particular messages here on the Manjula Awakening for that ninth house collective. But even with that being said, just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest, okay? Um, also, want to take a moment to remind you all that we are running a special from now until November the 15th. You can get 20 minute live session with me for $20 or you can ask two questions for $10 and it can get a pre-recorded uh, uh answer okay so if you're interested in that or you would like to take part in that special um you can find the email down in the description box below and i appreciate everyone that has showed up and showed out for that special already i have thoroughly enjoyed your energy let's see where is spirit taking us on this day here and then i cannot uh Wait to see where we go with these channel messages that came in. Okay. I will say this. It did wrap me back around to Friday's reading. And when it all played out, it wrapped me back around to Friday's daily increase. So after we get through this video, I will link Friday's at the end of this just in case you need... Uh, you're feeling led to go back and see what pieces may resonate a little different with this reading, okay? Yeah, poised, okay? So we have poised. I am telling you. <laughs> what is at the bottom? Serendipity. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius. Poised. That is a... Oof, my heart just fluttered. That's a 12 card that breaks down to three. So this is definitely got to do with something being at some type of activation some type of this is definitely a collaboration growth working together um i feel like that this is growth inside of some sort of collaboration okay yes and here we are back to the leg up can't remember which video it is can't promise i'm going to do the research but on saturday i released a lot of uh, little short videos and one of them was surrounding the leg up it may actually do you some good to go and watch that reading <clears throat> it actually might have been released last night but anyways moving forward you'll find it if you're led to it uh, with poise coming out, I feel like that there are some sudden changes coming in. I feel like that here goes the channel messages. There is a conversation. You're going to have a conversation. Whether you like it or not, there is a conversation that will be had. And this conversation is the is about what needs to be let go of in order for something to be in order for something to be in order for something to blossom. Also, there is. And okay, so it's a conversation about what needs to be released so that something can blossom or it's a conversation about what has been released. And and now it's an opera and now someone is coming to check to see if something can blossom. That's really what I'm getting at. Whatever the however this conversation takes place, Sagittarius, I feel like you're literally being urged to remain poised. Remain poised because you're like everything that you've encountered up until this moment has been preparing you to to be poised and to contain the beast inside contain your beast so that you can have this conversation in a healthy way okay the very first song that came through was under the influence which means <clears throat> this person may come at you when they are intoxicated um this person may come to you uh in a very like where it just you may see it's different than last time but it's not the progress you would expect to see okay so something about it is just like huh you know what i'm saying that's the energy so this i do want you to know that this person has thought this through and i feel like that this person has thought this through on a lot of like they didn't, had a couple of drinks bottles and all of that behind thinking this through and it's not just this one night i feel like that this person has repetitively 
thought about this and had a push and pull conversation, uh, push and pull internal dialogue as to actually to reach out. So when this person actually reaches out, just know that the resistance from you is almost unnecessary because this person has had um, this resistance internally. And I was just having a conversation with my big sister and I don't know about you, but one thing that I have learned in my little life is that can't nobody deliver an ass whooping like the creative. And when we have that internal push and pull dialogue, that's, that's the form of an ass whooping from the universe. So just know that this person has encountered that energy. And as they have encountered this energy, the next song was Snooze by Sizzler. And I love that song. Um, there's one verse in that song that's where she says, um, something about looking better underneath you right now. Like there's nobody else that she would rather be on top of. Like, you know, she's talking in a sexual way, but let's elevate our minds and just use it for our growth. So I feel like that this person is realizing that if they're going to like, there's no one after everything that's taking place, if they're going to lift up and feed into any situation, they, they now see that this is the best situation to feed into. And so I do feel like that this energy is willing to do, to follow the policy. That can't, I actually had to write that down. That was in the touch, uh, touch it by DVSN part four. Uh, they, it's like, they are willing to do, tell them the policy. What is the policy? Because they are willing to do whatever is necessary. Okay? No. And that's where you're being asked to remain poised and think about what you've learned about taking advantage of your of, of what you have experienced, what it feels like, and the lessons that you learned when people abuse their position of power. Because I do feel like that you are being led into a position of power, but you have to, like you're in an authoritative position. That emperor that we've been seeing, I feel like that you're getting ready to be there and it's going to give you this energy of almost wanting to abuse your power. But spirit is like, when you know better, you have to do better. With great power comes great responsibility. Okay? Now, Let's dive in. That's a whole lot. It's 7.30, 7 minutes and 24 seconds off of one card. But with that being said, if you have felt this message and resonated and want to see what else is going to come out, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. I can't wait to see. So let's go. Spirit is asking me to look at the top of this deck. Yeah, thank her. Yeah, be poised. Think about a situation. Someone, someone's been thinking while they've been left out in the cold. It's like there is definitely this place of separation. There has been a place of separation. And there's been some sort of think that some an, an elevation in, in the thinking process has taken place as someone has felt orphaned and left out on the code and the reason i say in elevated thinking is because i feel like somebody was on a high horse when they got left out in the code okay and so that high horse is actually providing them a place to get the view from up above and gain a different perspective than it, than that egotistical perspective that they was looking at it from okay Yeah, and, and that has honestly kept them going round and round as they thought that they were elevating on that high horse and they were getting an opportunity to transition to other worlds. They were constantly being looped back around. It's like they were only partially experiencing the, the highness because they were they were missing something. So they kept on going on that loop. Well, now something is being cleared up so they can actually have this. They can actually transition so, yeah, they're actually there. It's in the here and in the here and now, in the present moment. It is about receiving this entry, actually being open and receiving this entry into the the, the new way of being and doing things. Beautiful energy, Sagittarius. Let's jump in. <clears throat> All right, spirit. Where are we going for my sexy Sagittarians? Ninth house collective. Guys, I hope that this message is finding you all in good spirits and in good health. Where are we going, Spirit? What's going on? How is this showing up? Uh oh, is that it? Cross my heart and hope to die. So we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, 
the six of cups and the three of pentacles. Okay, Sag. I like it. I like it. And I like it a lot because this is telling me that um, one spirit is saying to acknowledge there is a material material success is on the incline for you. Okay. Um, you are in the position to begin to receive material gains at this time. It is so clear. It is so clear The just don't feel like that you can give up now you have to stay the course okay Sagittarius now into this energy how this is showing up here what's at the bottom of the deck the nine of swords which is in this deck it's called the nine of Arch angels and this is guardian and so that lets me know that um, you know I have a couple of decks that and this is one of them that the, the definition for that nine of swords just like it it gives it a whole different light. It is definitely when you feel like those can, like when those anxieties and those fears are causing you to overthink a situation. I want you to remind yourself that those are the moments that your guardian angels are really trying to speak to you so loudly. And it's so important that that negative devil like energy, it's begins to scream. And so if you don't learn to identify that devil like energy and learn the 11, 11 was on the clock. If you don't learn how to adjust the volume for that, that devil like energy, um, then it, 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 it overshadows the guidance. So it's time when you begin to get in that anxious state, hit the pause button and make an adjustment on the volumes internally. OK, that's what the nine of swords is telling me now. To get to what's on the board, we have the seven of pentacles. This is all about contemplation. So right now, the situation, how this is showing up is this, that sit down. It's that sit down. To really talk about where, like, all of this time to look at the seeds. You know, the seven of pentacles. You're looking at the seeds, see what seeds are yielding, um, a, like what is yielding a harvest for you and what is not. And the things that it's like, but it's yielding a harvest, but it's just not yielding the harvest that you expected, which means let's just be honest. If you plant a seed and it's not what comes up out of it is not what you expected. Somewhere along the lines, you went through a mislabeling process, right? So then it's time to get back to identifying what these seeds are that you're planting. It's not necessarily to say that the ground that you're planting those seeds on isn't fertile. But it just means that you have misidentified what it is that you're planning. And so you're giving a wrong expectation to that seed. And then you're getting mad at that seed for giving you what it was, what its intentions is to give. Okay. Hope I'm not following you. So I do feel like that there's an, the conversation is to sit down and to talk about what we are planting on our ground. Okay. The opportunity here is the Six of Pentacles. The, in this Six of Pentacles, it's called receiving. So the opportunity here is to receive. The, we have the Three of Pentacles for what's on the other side. So the opportunity here is to receive equal give and take. Equal co within a collaboration. There will, on the other side of this, there is dedication to working together. And equally giving into a situation and understanding the other person's perspective when things be when the flow is off. It's not necessarily getting mad at someone because the flow is off. It's about understanding that, okay, right now, anxiety and fear is arising and the flow is off. So it's time to stop and take a pause for some guidance. And I feel like that that's the opportunity here. And I feel like that if you take advantage of that opportunity, there is a stone, like a grounded, solid connection. Like, let's count all these pinnacles. It's a whole lot of money in it. We got seven plus six. That's what? That's 13 plus eight. That's what? Uh, that's 11. That's 21. Plus this, 24. <laughs> back to the six <laughs> it's all about are we willing to true like let's get back and talk about what the expectation is what is this seed when we plant this seed what do we expect from planting this seed as a collaboration as a whole when we plant this seed what do you and i expect from it that's what needs to be talked about now the way through this challenge because the challenge is the eight of pentacles the skills so You have to latch on to these experiments. Like you have to take into consideration so what have you been through? What have you learned? What have I went through? What have I learned? And then when 
that an area of expertise arises or an area arises and it needs a certain expertise it's about gracefully understanding that someone else the other person inside of this collaboration has something can needs to take the lead here you know what I'm saying? And, and like, I don't have to overwork myself to overprove myself. That's not what this is. Not, why are we collaborating with somebody that we got to prove ourselves to? Why are we collaborating? That's what the American system teaches us. That's what I thought about in the shower. Ooh, it's wrapping all together, God. <laughs> I was thinking about that in this when I was just taking a shower. I was like, um, <laughs> we have to get in alignment. Like things begin to fall into place when we believe that it will fall into place, right? So the school system teaches us that if we learn something and we do it, there is an immediate grade for it, right? And that has its place, but it is not how this, it's not how, it's not how we live the, it's not how we live a good life. It's how we live a life to push an agenda. It's not how we get to better living. Okay. So what this here is telling me is that it's understanding that I got to do the work. I got to do the work and I may have to wait a couple of seasons before I get my test results back. I may not get, I may not do the test today and tomorrow the teacher grades the work and give it to me. No, I may do the work today and I may not even get a progress report. You know what I'm saying? But I also know that it's it's already, I know as I'm working that it's paying off. Okay. Let me get back into this reading before I lose y'all. But with this eight of pentacles, it is about understanding that other people like, I'm, I'm going to learn from you. You're going to learn from me. I'm going to take from you. You're going to take from me. And just because we're doing that, we're increasing our skills as a whole. So I don't have to be in competition with you. But the way through this is something about the past. You do have to look at the past. You have to gain um, a respect and an appreciation. Gr be grateful for however the past has played out. Because right now I feel like that there's a lot of resentment to the way that the past has played out. Let me move forward. And it's like... It's almost like the energy of because the resentment for the past isn't really resolved yet. It's like when this energy comes together, when it comes up and it's not dealt with in a compassionate way, someone runs back to the very thing that kind of caused the issue in the first place here is really what I feel. I do feel like that there is an awakening taking place here. There is definitely a major, major emergence here. It's a whole lot of stability in this motherfucker getting ready to shine down. It is. And I know I keep on saying that MF a word and I'm getting ready to stop y'all. Don't judge me. I'm done. I ain't going to use it no more. Mm -hmm. Awakening to the way that the fears have been literally strapped. Like your fears have been your navigation. I think I've said this in quite a few readings. But I do feel like that it's even like so, like because the, the slight awareness to the fact that the fears have been navigating you. And because you've been making subtle changes. It's like a major revelation is coming in. And because of this major revelations, you're opening some type of abundance. Some type of an abundance vortex. You're definitely opening an abundance portal here. Um, but do you see how the like it's that swirling? And when you think about going through that, it could get uncomfortable. It could sometimes give you the illusion of be, an illusion and being hypnotized and stuff like that. So you may become discombobulated as this portal is opening up. And that's why there's this energy that something that you're meant to that something there's an energy that you're not allowing to balance out. It actually, if you allow it to balance out, it is actually the thing that is going to help you transition through this portal to receive your abundance. Yeah, see? Uh-huh. The hanged man. That's the hanged man, the turnaround, the revolution. This revelation, like this major revelation uh, allows you to create some type of revolution in your life. Yeah, and it gives you, and you're, you're in it. Yeah, it leads you to a stability. It leads you to stability. And I feel like that there, it, there's also like this energy of becoming some type of wise counsel. Like the people, people hone in on, they like people value what you say because of this. Okay. All 
Archangel Michael, where we going? Y'all don't forget to smash that thumbs up button if y'all have followed through this rambles. Me and my spirit team, y'all, we've been, we have been in cancel all morning long. Like I'm telling you, like I feel like I have had breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough this morning. So do be open to the epiphanies coming through. Do not discredit anything, okay? All right, Archangel Michael, can you please help us wrap this message up for the sign of Sagittarius? Oops. Did something flip here? It did, but then it went back straight, didn't it? So I'm going to put all of these back in. You and your loved ones are safe, and you're so much ready for, you're like, you're ready for more, okay? There's something about the eyes. There's something about the eyes today, Sagittarius. Make sure that you're paying, like, um, if you're typically one to shy away from eyes, making make sure that you're used, like, eye contact is going to be important today. All right, Spirit, what's going on here? Yeah, someone new is coming. Ooh. An important new relationship is on the horizon. Open your mind and heart so that happiness can enter your life. Um, this is a blessing in disguise. Now, I'm, Spirit is making me uh, clarify that this new person doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, okay? This could be something that is going to be pivotal in opening, like I said, opening up this abundance vortex. There is someone that is contemplating coming in. This person, I feel like, has already had their eye on you. They're contemplating coming in and they're like they're get, they're leaving the contemplation stages is what I'm telling you. They are wanting to come in. This person has what you need in order to open this abundance vortex. OK, um, this uh, this is something that's going to require patience. This is a blessing in disguise. It says be patient and have faith that the angels have this situation under control. What will come is far better than you dare dreamed. There's a need to increase your knowledge. There is something that must be learned here, okay? Yeah, change is coming. Yes, change is coming. Uh, the uh, I feel like that the one thing that you can do at this time is really do some self-care. Get to know yourself. What is it that you desire to learn? What is it that you desire to read about? Whatever it is that, like, whatever piques your interest at this time, at, at the bare minimum, do yourself a favor and go pick up a book about it. Go do some research about it, um, and that's that. Like that's going to help you get in alignment with this um, with this change that's that is coming in. Okay, it's a very beautiful, joyous opportunity. Let me get one of these. Look, it's already twenty three minutes. Let me hurry up and get on up out of here. All right, Spirit, what's the message? Baby, my baby girl wants to talk to us to close it out, though. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Solving problems. Absolutely. Absolutely. Today, I will face any problems that are mine and work to seek solutions. I realize that there are always challenges in life, but I know that I have the ability to solve them and grow stronger in the process. What I'm telling y'all, I love y'all. We're going we gonna to get to the bottom of this shit, y'all. That's, that's what we're going to do on this channel. We have... This channel's business is getting to the bottom of the shit. All right, baby girl, close this message out for us. Thank you so much, Barry, for this beautiful message. Adventure. I will ride the tide. I love you. Change me, divine beloved, into one who rides the tides happily, trusting where I am being led, even when everything doesn't make sense yet. Absolutely. That's getting in alignment and understanding that things will begin to get fall into place when I get in alignment with believing that things are going to fall into place. Now, in the holy space between, um, allow me, divine beloved, to rest in the holy space between what is and what will be. Let me fully embrace, relax, and bless the now. And then we have protection. I am safe. Change me, divine beloved, into one who is protected from all negative energies all negative energies and predict, uh, predictions. Fill me with your dazzling and radiant light. Make me a vessel of your love. I now release all fear I've absorbed from others. I just want to get one more from the top. Camp competition. Absolutely. Boy, I love it. 
competition like didn't we just say that like why are we with why are we collaborating with somebody that we feel like we're in competition with why are we feeling like we're in competition that we're meant with someone that we're meant to collaborate i am yours alone change me divine beloved into one who can trust that you alone are all the are you alone are the source for all free me from the illusion of scarcity and competition let me trust that all needs are always richly met I am yours alone. Sagittarius, I absolutely love you. And I feel like that these messages, uh, the, the baby girl's messages absolutely cemented this message. I hope that it provided you the guidance that you were seeking on your journey. If this message resonated, please do not forget to give us a thumbs up down below. It really does help push these messages into the algorithm so that we can get these messages out to other Sagittarians so that we can lift the vibrations of the ninth house and the collective can feel it at large. And in all that we say and in all that we do, let's choose peace. Love and like, guys.